Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on the Silent Hill 2 Pop Pop Parade Bubblehead Nurse, okay? Now this one's actually made from Good Smile Company. Uh, there are other um, figures that are very similar to this, but this one here has very, very nice looking detail. We're going to show you this up close and personal. I believe it is called FEMA or FEMA or something like that. They make a bubble head nurse, and there's a lot of videos out there based on that. Uh, it's okay looking, okay, but I prefer this one here simply because of the detail and the way they did it. Okay, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to get into some information based on this particular figure. Now, if you want to go through Big Bad Toy Store and purchase this, I will tell you this. The actual price is roughly around $35 plus shipping and handling, which would push it over $40 possibly like around 44 to about the same price as a NECA figure but there is no technical articulation in this particular figure which we will get into here in a second uh, but I do want to let you know that the actual uh, product in itself this particular figure stands around 6.63 inches tall which is roughly around 17 uh, centimeters tall it is made of plastic and like I said, it is actually based off of the actual Silent Hill 2 video game, not the movie itself, but the actual video game. It's part of the pop-up uh, parade lineup. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and check that out. And it is highly detailed, so keep that in mind, okay? Uh, the actual box that it comes in, I don't have it. Um, I simply got rid of it after a while because I got this thing like last week, and I was oh, actually a week and a half ago. No, almost two weeks ago. And I ended up getting sick, so obviously I couldn't talk or anything like that. So that delayed it. And the fact that I got a job that likes to work you six to ten days straight, which is ridiculous because they're always shorthanded. But anyway, uh, I finally got a chance to do this particular video, and we're going to get into this. Uh, but it, the actual box in itself was a very cool looking box. Uh, it came with the actual nurse and its base. It does come with the base along with the pipe. It's the only accessories that come in the box, okay? So with that in mind, let's go ahead. I'm going to shut down the camera and I'm going to take this off the stand and we're going to look at the figure up close and personal. So I will be right back. Here's looking at you, kid. Hi, I'm Bubblehead Nurse. <laughs> Just messing around. But anyways, look at the details of this particular figure, okay? I don't want to turn it too much because I don't want to break the pipe. These are very cool looking nurses, especially in the movies. They are, in a creepy way, very sexy nurses. <laughs> Get out of the way with the arm. In the back of it. Okay. Now, there was, I believe, um, kind of a, for the movie in itself, or I think the video game, they were actually going to make the bubblehead nurse's uh, face actually blow up with some kind of a balloon and they just pop uh, they somehow obviously changed it and the weapon of choice for the bubblehead nurse I think it's according to the video game was actually supposed to be oh, um, one of the stands uh, for the uh, blood bags and stuff like that I believe that was the actual weapon of choice but again they changed it to this bad boy right here the actual pipe okay now the pipe does slide in and out of the hand, but I'm not going to pull it out. Just going to let you guys take a look at it. Alright. Looks very long from this angle. Alright, let me pull that in closer. It's got a nice little detail for a good smile company. They did a really good job. And like I said, there's no articulation. And as you can see, it is highly detailed. Very nice looking piece. And you can see she's got some cleavage. Alright. That's the stand that it comes in. It snaps in and you're good to go. Okay. Now these are actually cool because you can just sit them on your shelf and not even worry about them. The whole articulation thing is not a problem with this thing. Simply because there is no articulation. Okay. And it just stands there and looking pretty. Now, I want to get a pyramid head, but right now they're a little too high priced because of its popularity, okay? So keep that in mind. 
Let's look at the shoes a little bit. All right. As you can see, her foot is a little contorted. That's cool. Now, I will have some other videos out now that I'm pretty much clear of everything right now. But we'll have to wait and see when it comes to the job. Oh, I'm going to need you to work 10 days straight. Yeah, sure, no problem, buddy. <laughs> okay. Let me get that a little closer. See, it's got very nice looking detail. The hand is wicked looking. Okay. The breasts. Yes, they are very nice. <laughs> but anyway, this is a very nice looking figure. Okay. Let's get into the close up on the head. All right. Pull it in. Let you get a close up of the mouth. That's very nice. Yeah, very cool. Anyway, that is it on the Bubblehead Nurse from Silent Hill 2. And it's based off of the video game. I'll let that spin a little bit. Anyway, I hope you all liked this and enjoyed this video. I know it's short and sweet because i got to move on to these other videos and stuff. Oops, sorry, my bad. All right. All right, but anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. As you can see, she's contorted and stuff. Uh, when it comes to movies like that, like the contortions and stuff, like the possession of Hannah Grace, that was freaky. Uh, I like that kind of stuff, but at the same time, it can be a little scary in the way they contort themselves. Like in The Exorcist, when she did the spider walk down the stairs, that was a bit weird. Uh, you got, I think, the ring? No, Juwan. Juwan, where she comes down the stairs, and you hear the clicking sound. It's a little bit creepy, okay? Also, the, uh, I think it's... The possession, no, I mean, it's not possession, it's something of Emily Rose, the possession of Emily Rose, or the exorcism of Emily Rose. There it is. Anyway, there was one scene in that particular movie. I didn't watch the movie for five years because it really did freak me out with those big black eyes of hers. And the way she was in the church, she suddenly laying on a floor all contorted. That totally freaked me out to a point that I wouldn't watch the movie for a while. But upon seeing it and expecting what was going to happen, it was nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. But when you least expect it, it does freak you out. But anyway, um, the, the, the figure in itself has got a very contortionist look about it, uh, especially the way they walk in the videos and in the movies. But anyway, that's, that's my video on my um, Bubblehead Nurse. Now keep in mind, it's from Good Small Company. I'm going to definitely check out that line of uh, figures and see what they got. And maybe collect those in a way. I've been collecting Living Dead dolls. Uh, I still got a few more coming in, but they're on pre-order. But in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see some more videos. And I will see you guys at the very next video.